Uh, this new landmark agreement has granted all national NHL Canadian media rights to Rogers. We want to bring NHL hockey fans the best and most exciting hockey experience around. Don't worry, I'm not launching into another tirade against the CBC. I'm, I'm actually asking questions about another media company, Rogers. They just got the hockey rights. Now they've got the naming rights. They got broadcast rights for all hockey games. Now they got the naming rights for the new arena for the Edmonton Oilers. We're building on our sponsorship of the Oilers and our investment in Alberta with the naming rights. The Rogers Place is a natural extension of our relationship already with this iconic team. Here's my question for David Menzies. They've already got uh, what we used to call Sky Dome Menzies. Uh, they've got the arena for the, uh, the Canucks in Vancouver. They've got the arena in, uh, in Edmonton now. Uh, they own part of the Leafs. Are they just taking over? Are we going to you know, change the name of Canada to Rogers? <laughs> Well, hey, Brian, all I have to say is it's their money, and uh, I know you're a Rogers subscriber, so you might want to pay attention to those cell phone well, bills that are coming see, in. Here's my question. Am yeah. I, I thought I was getting a good deal on my cell phone and uh, my other <laughs> services with them. Maybe I'm still paying too much. Well, that's right. I think the other guy does it, too, with Bell Center and whatnot. But, oh, and, yeah. and by the way, Brian, I want to correct you. Some of us used to call it Skydome. I still call it Skydome. You We're, still call it Dominion Day, though. Oh, I do, and uh, and 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 there's a whole bunch of other lost causes that I believe in too, my friend. But here's the deal, uh, you know. And this, by the way, is a textbook example of the insanity of stadium building uh, in, in recent history. That was a stadium, as you know, 150 million dollars it was projected at came in at over 600 million dollars taxpayer money mostly. And then Rogers comes along in 2004, and for 25 million, 25 million buys it. Imagine that, Brian. So, the, well, yeah, I mean, let's let's show people what this new Rogers place will cost, and we can project that it'll actually cost a billion dollars, and then someone will buy it in a few years for a lot less. That happened in Ottawa as well, by the way. But in Ottawa, it was all private money for the uh, where the Sens play. It's, it's expected to be 490 million dollars. And there's still a hundred million dollar shortfall. You know what should happen though, is that they should do what they do in soccer, and at Rogers Place, <laughs> Bell should sponsor the uh, the Edmonton Oilers or Telus. You know, have Telus straight across the shirt the way they have in soccer games. Oh my God! You know what, Brian? I think that <laughs> might be a reality in our lifetime. I mean, when I turn on, you know, Michael Corrin's soccer channel to watch the wobbly jobbly uh, <laughs> soccer players uh, play footy, as he calls it, and I'm thinking, wait a minute, wh who's playing who? AIG well, versus uh, Fly, Fly Emirates. Emirates. Yeah, Fly know? Emirates. They're a big team these days. <laughs> what the hell is that? I mean, could you imagine taking away the iconic? Chicago Blackhawks logo or the Montreal crest or the Boston Bruins uh, B hub crest and putting a corporate sponsor there. But you unfortunately, know I can. Yeah. I, I'm a longtime fan of Glasgow Celtic. They've been doing this for 30 years for most of their history. Their, their shirts were clean hoops, nothing else. Now they got it for 30, more than 30 years. They've had sponsor logos on it. Menzies, we'll leave it there. And uh, when TELUS plays uh, Videotron, we'll give you a call. Well, I have the Rogers colors on, so uh, this space for rent, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Talk to you later, my friend.